What's up? Today, let's talk about notes versus layers. Shall we? I'm turning dreams into reality. In the lab with the formula and chemistry. The memories spark and motivate and make the industry shake. We put the balls in the place. I'm talking one. One chance at best, yes. Painting pictures for the culture. Keep the brushes fresh. Two, all, one shot. Now the future is yours. Go! Um, okay, let's talk about subscribers for a second. Uh, now I'm allowed to say this. Madness. This is Sparta! Uh, we finally hit the 300 m subscriber mark. Uh, thank you uh, to you all. Uh, without any of you, this wouldn't be uh, possible. Let's get back to the subject. Uh, Layer-based uh, system will be represented by uh, mm, analog device like uh, layer projector. Uh, uh, if you know what I mean, I try to show you uh, right here and. Uh, the node-based uh, system will be represented by um, a lens filter. At least in my head, this is uh, th this is working that way. Uh, so if you have a layer-based system, basically what you need to do is build up the layer structure. Uh, and I was thinking about this projector that you can go see through layers uh, with some uh, information and this will be projected to your uh, screen and if you want to add something you have to get another see-through layer on top of it and that that will uh, build up the whole image uh, the a con uh, in this system is that you sometimes you have to duplicate the layers uh, which makes this tag bigger uh, than it should be. So the coloring uh, with layers it's a little bit uh, harder uh, in my opinion. To apply the effect partially it's, uh, it's very hard to do without duplicating the layers and to uh, making the file that you work on uh, bigger and bigger and harder to process by your computer. With notes, uh, on the other hand, uh, you can play with the color more freely, uh, ch channeling the input through the effect, like through a uh, lens filter, so to speak. And on the other end, you can combine different filters into one stream and uh, through the uh, output, which will be your final footage, right? So without multiplying the, the footage, you have the one footage, which from, uh, from this perspective, you have your base footage. This is your input. Uh, you put putting through the, the filter uh, in this uh, visualization and different nodes will act as a different filter so you can uh, put through filter and filter and filter and filter and then you have the uh, end uh, output image uh, on the other side but this will work just like layers what you can do differently you can put your parallel uh, nodes or outside nodes that will go bypass the the whole structure you can combine it in the end and uh, send it out like, uh, as a as an output of your footage and you have only one base footage and all this structure you can freely uh, uh, rejoin them you can uh, stack them together uh, there is plenty of uh, possibilities to uh, to do with this uh, kind of workflow. Uh, so uh, what I noticed uh, is that this way is less challenging to your computer. The work 
workload is uh, is lighter. Uh, for my uh, from my perspective, uh, this is what I uh, I like to do. Okay, let's see uh, the example with nodes. Um, and by the way, I'm uh, totally biased uh, towards nodes, as you probably already uh, noticed. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, we've got the node uh, window right here. This is our basic um, serial node. As I mentioned before, this is our input. This is where our footage uh, is stepping into this structure. Uh, this is our filter and you have input in the filter, out of the filter and to your final output. What you can do, you can, uh, you can add several nodes. Uh, the basic one is the serial node and this is basically uh, working as a layer. So this is uh, your uh, input. You go through one filter. You you have your output of that filter. So if I change something in this uh, this particular filter, you will have uh, your second node affected. So this this filter, this node, is only seeing the output. Of this uh, of, the, of this node, so uh, you are working with processed uh, image already. Uh, this is no different than uh, layer-based system, where this is more powerful. Is when you can create your uh, for example parallel node so you have your nodes like this so the original footage is split like with the prism to two uh, different streams but this is the uh, this is only one file size so this is not uh, something like layers that you have to duplicate the footage only you can channel it uh, through a different uh, place then you have ability to add serial node right here and this is the uh, joiner yeah so this is uh, acting like okay so now let's see now I can do only contrast here right this contrast is going through here but this node is basically without contrast your footage without contrast so you have ability to make your uh, highlights and, and shadows work worked up here and this will change only shadows with the lift uh, slider this will translate to here where you can uh, go your gains to so put them down and this is only contrast on your original footage and this is joined right here and output right here so this is something that it's uh, not impossible with layers but very more challenging for your computer because you have to duplicate the original footage and in one uh, layer system apply this one uh, this, this effect and uh, on the other one uh, apply this effect and then somehow uh, make uh, the joinery to make this uh, final image look like you want to be looking mm. i will uh, make another uh, video explaining every single one of these uh, node uh, types uh, to get you more understanding how you can use uh, different uh, kinds of nodes to achieve your uh, goals in color grading. This video is uh, meant to be uh, focusing on color grading 
alone. So I will leave the uh, Fusion tab uh, for now. Okay, so hope you like it. Uh, so please, the usual stuff. Uh, if you like it, please hit the like button. If you loved it, please hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the not notification bell to get notified every time I upload the new video. And that's it for now. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.